Are you having trouble killing your first ladybug? Your timing is not too great on perfect blocks or your equipment is not too good. Don't worry, with this method you don't need any skills. All you need is just one equipment and you'll be able to take on your first ladybug no problem. And this strategy will work on all difficulty levels. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to kill your first ladybug. So thanks for tuning in. This is the life of a gamer. Okay, so the one equipment you need to easily defeat a ladybug is a shield. Now the weevil shield is the easiest to craft and it can be crafted really early in the game. It requires 4 raw weevil meat, 2 crude rope, and 2 grub high. Now I do want to mention that there are two types of blocking in grounded. There is normal blocks and perfect blocks. Now normal blocks is where you just hold down the block button when getting attacked. You will take reduced damage to either your health or stamina. Now perfect block is where you time your block right before an enemy's attack. You will hear a cling and you will see some sparks fly if you successfully landed a perfect block. Now with the perfect block you will not take any damage or lose any stamina. Now a shield will allow you to block damage to your health if you have enough stamina. So with the shield your stamina will take damage instead of your health. So if you are blocking and if you don't lose all your stamina, you will never take any real damage. But if you lose all your stamina when blocking with the shield, it will then redirect the damage to your health. So try to regain your stamina when using a shield if your stamina is low. Now blocking with a weapon is different from a shield. With a weapon you will take damage to your health instead of losing stamina, like a shield. But of course you will take less damage compared to if you were not blocking. So if you're not too great at perfect blocking, then the shield will help you throughout the game. Now keep in mind when blocking with a shield or a weapon, there is a blocking meter. If that blocking meter gets full, you will get stunned for a couple seconds and you're vulnerable for any attacks. Now, are you ready for the ultimate shield bearing, no sweat, your first ladybug destroyer strategy? Okay, so basically the strategy is just to do three attacks and then block three attacks and then block and keep repeating and just wait for the block even though it could take a while for the ladybug to attack now you may be able to do more attacks after the block but if you wait for the block and use this strategy you'll guarantee that you're safe and you'll recover your stamina so when it comes to all the bugs in grounded all the bugs have a single hit attack or a combo hit attack once they finish a single hit attack or a combo hit attack there is a delay until their next attack so during the delay, this is the time where you attack and damage the bug. Now ladybugs have all single hit attacks. A shield can withstand all the ladybugs attacks if you have any stamina, and you won't take any damage. Now because the ladybug has all single attacks, if your shield meter breaks and you get stunned, there is enough delay before the ladybug's next attack for you to recover and pull up your shield. So the idea is when you get stunned from blocking, when you recover, start blocking again right away. There will be no way for the ladybug to drain all your stamina when using a shield because you will regain your stamina back before the ladybug's next attack. So the idea is to always keep your shield up. Now this is assuming this is your first ladybug and you have barely any equipment. So I'm just going to use a weevil shield and a peplet axe, which you can both craft right at the beginning of the game. Okay, so let's begin the fight. fight! Now the ladybug is a neutral bug, so she won't attack you unless you attack her first. Okay, so when you first attack, block right away. The ladybug will try to hit you right away when you first attack her. Once you block her attack, do 3 attacks with the peplet axe and then block until she attacks. Now depending on your weapon and weapon speed, you may do more or less attacks. Now after your 3 attacks, the ladybug may attack you as you finish up your attacks or it may take several more seconds for her next attack. Just keep holding up the shield until she attacks because this will also regain your stamina. Because if you run out of stamina when blocking and the ladybug attacks, the ladybug will damage your health as you can see right here as i'm trying to lose all my stamina and then block the ladybug attack and you see i lost health now a situation is if you take too much blocking damage from the shield the shield meter will fill up and break and you will be stunned if this happens block right away when you recover because the ladybug may attack right away but you will have enough time to put up your shield and block now another situation is if you're running low on stamina if this happens instead of attacking just keep holding up your shield until you get your stamina back and then continue attacking this way you don't lose all your stamina and you don't get damaged from blocking so the idea is three attacks and then block three attacks and then block and if you get stunned by the shield meter breaking just get ready to block again when you recover and keep an eye on your stamina gauge because if it does possibly get too low stop attacking and wait for your stamina to recover and then repeat the three attack and then block now don't get greedy and stick with this plan because the ladybug may surprise you if you try to land more attacks after the block now keep doing this method until the ladybug dies 
there you have it. You defeated your first ladybug. Now this may take more time to kill a ladybug compared to other ways, but this is just a very easy and simple strategy to use if you're having trouble killing your first ladybug. But of course once you get gear with tier 2 or tier 3 equipment, ladybugs will be a lot easier and you can tank more damage. Okay, so thanks for checking out this video on the easiest way to kill your first ladybug. More tips, tricks, and tutorials to come, so stay tuned. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you decided to see what's next. But of course, go out there, keep grinding, and always stay grounded. <laughs>